Hi, I'm Larry the Butcher. We're gonna get to better know craft beer. So, for my brew box, which I got from my wife, a very, 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 very long time ago, from the Highlander Brewing Company. Highlander Brewing Company, it's the August Brewscovery from the brew box, which I got from my wife. I'm not being paid by anyone, blah, blah, blah. I just get to drink beer, taste it, and tell you what I think about it. I got three beers left from my brew box, including this one here. <clears throat> Highlander Blacksmith Smoked Porter. We'll talk about the beer, and then I'll go on my phone and find out about the brewery. Blacksmith Smoked Porter. Let's read about this. A very malt flavored beer with flavors of roasted grain, chocolate, and cherry, accented by an assertive bitterness. Ah, crap! Merry Christmas, everyone, and Happy New Year. My kid just said crap. <laughs> Crap's not bad. Daddy, no, do broke it. I broke it. It's I not broken. It. Yeah, there's three lights up there. Uh, <laughs> bitterness as well as wood and smoke notes that become noticeable in the finish. Blacksmith smoke porter is full-bodied, earthy, Mom, and grainy uh, okay. with mild carbonation and oilness. The aftertaste has grain and coffee notes. Well, you got me with coffee! Because I drink like two pots a day! Mm -hmm. So, let's um see if I can find the Blacksmith Brewing Islander Brew Company. It's, it's owned by Sean Connery. Not that I can do a Sean Connery impersonator. It's okay. I, just, I love editing. Highlander Brewing. It's next to a foodland. South River, Ontario. I have no idea where that is. What's your new name? My new name? What's your new name? My new name is Daddy. I've only had it for 12 years. Um, Highland. Come on. Where is it? Highway 11. So it's... Um, Highlander, Sterling Falls, Sunridge. Still not... It's not far from her stool. Really? Where is it? It's on Highway 11. Sunridge? Oh, I know that. We drive through there. Yeah. Sure. So this is kind of cool. It's not uh, super close though. <laughs> Sunridge is a while out from Ristool. It's closer to Ristool than it is to here. Yes. Um, we go up north. The in-laws invite, well they tolerate my presence up there. Um, <laughs> we go to a place called Ristool. Bring which, Larry if you must. Yeah, bring Larry if you must. <laughs> I, I own the boat. I used to own the boat. Well, I still own the boat, but it doesn't float anymore. The boat doesn't float. It sank in the moat. Now I own a goat. <laughs> uh, Masonic jokes. Oh, oh, I saw what you did there. So it's located, um, it's near North Bay, which is like five hours away from here, which is kind of cool. Like I said, we go up vacation there. So Highlander in August, of 2017, I'm gonna pay a visit. If any of you are brothers, give me the handshake. Um, so let me let me go back and let's learn about Highlander Brew. Oh, there's a picture of a canoe. I'm already at peace. Because I, I really actually do enjoy fishing out of the canoe more than I enjoy fishing out of the boat. Don't be afraid of the dark. Blacksmith Smoked Porter is Highlander's dark secret. This high quality porter blends notes of dark roast coffee, chocolate, and peat. Who's this peat guy? For a smooth, delicious taste and finish. Um, I want to learn more. Um, powered by Shopify, blah, blah, Visa, PayPal. Um, so the website's actually pretty good. I'm, you know, you guys are doing okay. Uh, I would much, I would really like to know more about the beer other than that you're located in, in South River. Um, home, about us, here we go. Let's learn about Highlander. The Highlander Brew Company legend. Highlander Brewery's story begins in 2009 with the brewery's first beer, a traditional Scottish ale, hence the name Highlander, which remains one of our best loved beers our beer is brewed from pure local free-flowing waters. It's actually very nice up there. Two thumbs up. 
is brewed from pure local free-flowing waters with barley cracked on site to ensure freshness. Our careful attention to quality in our small batch brewing process paired with expert selection of the finest ingredients gives all of our beers a distinctive taste and smooth finish. Highlander beer is a mix of the old and new. Some ingredients such as hops and selected malts are imported from Germany, United Kingdom, and the USA to give our beers a distinctive old world flavor. Other ingredients are sourced locally in Ontario, both hand harvested and purchased from farmers. Our careful selection of ingredients and careful attention to water quality make our beer shine. Highlander beers can be purchased at LCBO stores, select beer stores, some supermarkets and restaurants, and bars throughout Ontario. You can also order from us directly online for delivery to your home or office. Uh, there's more. There's more to this. It's, it's actually quite extensive. Um, Highlander Brewery is located just in South River in the Almaguin Highlands, just north of Muskoka. Almaguin uh, Highlands, okay. This is actually, you know what, you guys, you guys have a lot here. Um, especially on mobile. Good for you. Two thumbs up, guys. Gary V would be happy. Today is the sixth anniversary of me discovering Gary Vaynerchuk. Um, you guys should check him out, especially if you have a skill that you want to promote. It's a big bottle. 650 mil. Okay. Uh, six and a half percent alcohol. Yeah. That's probably garbage now. In case you missed that, swiper no swiping. I just oh man! I got to meet Gary Vanderchuk back in September. Well, I didn't actually meet him. I was about seven feet away from him and I tried to get a selfie with him using this camera. Because the still camera I bought, brought, died. My cell phone died, so all I had was the video camera and I was like six feet away and he had to go. Got a hoppiness to it, I'll give you that. Um, what's this called? Blacksmith Smoke Porter, IBA. IBU. A 12 pack is 60 bucks. Wow. This is the good stuff. Yeah. I'm looking for the IBU, it's a 27, man! 27 is good. I'm, you know, when you get into the 70s and 80s, it's like, man, I'd rather drink sand. Wow. It's like you add Guinness and coffee together. I, I may be in heaven. You've had Guinness? It's like Guinness and coffee. <laughs> that is the reaction I had when I had my first Guin second Guinness. This, I'm... No? No, it's okay. You can say no. You know what? It You're... doesn't have like a the aftertaste I was expecting. So it's not well, the IBU is only twenty-seven. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. The IBU is only twenty-seven. I think a Guinness's IBU is like twenty-two. And Alexander Keith, which is supposed to be the premier India Pale Ale in Canada, has an IBU near zero. Yeah. I, I like this. Sixty bucks. How is it that every other IPA you've had is kind of like eighty? <laughs> I don't know. I don't. Maybe it's maybe it's a macro brewing thing. Uh, I will explore more IPAs. Uh, Matt Moreau's told me to. Matt, love you. Been awesome working with you. Cheers. Oh. Well. 12 by 650 is six and a half plus 13, 7.8 liters of elk beer for $60. That's actually not that bad. It's expensive, but it's not that bad. I'm gonna figure a four pack of Guinness is 13. Mm. Oh, my filling. The color is like a Guinness. That's really cool. The suds don't go down though. That's kind of a disappointment. I know Caffrey Irish Lager goes down. It's got the Guinness color. It's got that for sure. I would definitely have this again. Maybe Brian, oh Brian a beef roast with this. So there you have it guys. Blacksmith. 
Blacksmith Smoked Porter from the Highlander Brewing Company up in South River, Ontario. Two thumbs up. I absolutely like this. Um, so check, I'll put their website in, in the uh, description. <clears throat> Give them some love, especially if you live in Ontario. If you live near the brewery, go in, say hi, tell them Larry sent you. And as I send this to the people at the Highlander Brewing Company in August, I will be by there. Maybe we can shoot a video or something. That would be awesome. So this is like episode 197. Wow. Time flies. Guys, I of course am Larry the Butcher. I cannot thank you enough for taking the time to watch this episode. Don't forget to like, comment down below. Have you tried any of their beers? Have you tried anything like it? Do you have one anywhere in North America, anywhere in the world that you would recommend? I will try to track it down and try it here in my cluttered kitchen. Larry's Cluttered Kitchen, that's a name for a restaurant. I think maybe I've had too much coffee. What do you think? Don't forget to hit the subscribe button right there. It's free. No charge to you. Just get an alert every time I post a video. And share this on all your favorite social media. Have an awesome day and have a better tomorrow. See you later.